pretty obvious that coyotes eat deer. We can see it when we pick apart the coyote scat. We can also see it sometimes when we get lucky enough to get a picture of a coyote running with a fawn in a camera trap. But do coyotes actually limit deer populations? That's a much trickier question to ask. To address it, we need to do an experiment. We need to actually remove the predator and see what happens to the deer populations. And this has actually been done in a few somewhat small areas, and the results have been contradictory. Sometimes they have found that deer numbers increase after you remove the coyotes. Sometimes they find no effect. My colleagues and I wanted to know, what's the effect of coyotes over a large area, not just in these couple small areas where these experiments have been done? To address this question, we needed two things. First, we needed the coyote data. We needed a map that showed how coyotes colonized the eastern United States. So to do that, we went to museums and looked at the tags to see exactly where and when did they first arrive in a state, and even to the county level. Now, the next thing we need is deer population sizes. Now, to get this, we worked with the hunting agencies across six states to look at their reported deer harvest record. So how many deer were killed by hunters? This isn't a perfect measure of population size, but it's pretty good. And if there's a crash in the deer population, these numbers will pick it up. So we plotted for each county across six states, 384 counties total, when did coyotes arrive and what happened to the deer population afterwards? What we found was generally deer populations have gone up. There's been some ups and downs on certain years, but there was no consistent pattern of deer crashing right when coyotes arrived in a county, or even if you give, say, a few years for the coyote populations to increase first, uh, there was no consistent crash after their arrival. So we concluded that coyotes on a large scale have not had a big impact on deer populations. We did find an interesting thing, though, when we looked at the coyote harvest, fur trappers that had trapped coyotes across all these states, we found that their populations are still increasing. They do not seem to have hit their limit in any of these states. So there is a possibility that in the future they will start to limit deer. But I don't think they will. They're really not big enough. They're a relatively small predator for a big animal like, uh, like deer, uh, compared to, say, the large predators that used to be in this region, mountain lions and wolves. The implications of our study is that if you're concerned about overpopulation of deer in parts of the eastern United States, you're probably not going to be able to count on coyotes to reduce their numbers. You're going to have to look to other strategies like increasing the human hunter harvest or encouraging the recovery of proper full-size apex predators like wolves and mountain lions.